Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back to another beautiful episode of Nightmare Begins. Oh, I've been working around here again, still beautifying stuff and making it look good, and went through a lot of my chests and started separating things properly, and uh... Like I said, I was building blocks here, same thing up there, and I haven't really mu done much with the mob drop stuff here yet. So, uh, excuse me, I also added a, excuse me, a pressure plate system here, so you could run out. And a little button on the side out here, if I could ever push it. There we go, and that's too big block glitch. Arr. Anyway, so I changed that, so that looks a little bit nicer. Get rid of some of the stuff that was on the side, and then I've been working at here a little bit, making it look a lot more presentable. Yeah, these are my coolest things though. I like these heads there that I came up with. Cause look at this. If I can get up there. Ah, they got eyes, they got eyeballs. That's freaky. I like that. So I put one here, and then I went on over here, and added some more out here, because they just looked really neat. Kind of fit this little area really nicely. And I went a little vine crazy, and really I only did put one like right there, and one there, and one there, and there, and it, they just kind of spread out. So it looks pretty good. I'm content with that. Same with here. Put some in between. Looking pretty, pretty good. So I ripped out what kind of I had going on here. And uh, I'm still not 100% sure what the hell I'm going to do there. I'm really thinking about putting my hidden stairs back in because it just looked really neat. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to elevate it a little bit and make my hidden stairs kind of go down a little bit. I think I'm going to bring that back, because I really, really like that. And it would look good in here, too, so... But that's not today's project. No, not at all. But first, because I didn't show you in the last episode... Uh, the finished product of the uh, sheep farm, because I think I forgot to add it in. Which kind of sucks. That's okay. Do I have any shears? Come on. Uh, maybe I put them in here. Yeah. Alright. Let's grab two just for fun. And we'll go over to the sheep farm. Oh, excuse me. Goddamn pop. I shouldn't drink that stuff before I'm making a video. Just not good. Oh, yeah. I made these pillars wider too. Got myself my first dog. I'm gonna call him Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Atta boy. He guards the front gate. Good boy. So I think those look a lot better than what they did before, just kind of all skinny and stuff. And I'm going to kind of do the same thing to the top, and I'm going to kind of do like a 3D thing going around. So just to keep wolves out, I uh, put dirt here. It will serve my purpose as well. So as you see, they're all here. Even though they probably could spawn here, them damn wolves too, eh? Anyways, uh, you could shear them. Shear, 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 and flick them back down. Click your wool. And you could dye them different colors if you wanted to. And I fell down the hole. And this side works just as good here, too. And works for me. I enjoy it. And then when they're ready, they pop back up. Yeah, that's what I like. So my cows. Oh, yeah, they've been wreaking havoc in here. Eh? That's not good. All right, so I got some problems with my cow farm still. Haven't uh, haven't really looked into that much lately. I've been too busy doing other things. 
I'll get to that another day. But right now, we're gonna go down and finish off my slime farm, I think. Just because it's another project that was left undone and I have to get it done. And at the same time too, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redo the entrance to my mine. So, first things first, we need a map. And I'm gonna put this back in its respective spot because I just finished going through most of this stuff earlier. And uh, I don't need the bed right now. I got my map. Alright, now we're set off. So, first off, I'm gonna get down in here. Oh yeah, I also did this floor design in here. Yeah, I'm gonna do this with all my uh, bottom floors and my towers. Just because it looks really nice. I like it. So like I said, for now, we're gonna take the cheesy way in. And we're gonna go down like this. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna need some ladders too, eh? Hmm. That could help. That could help. So we'll go get some coordinates here. And uh, we'll see if it matches up with the ones upstairs at one point in time. Or where it's gonna be. Because I need a new entrance to this place. I haven't been here in a dog's age, eh? Look how this is all lit up and nice looking. I gotta get my pumpkin farms going on. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't put my water in yet. Hmm. It's a shame. It's a shame. So there's still lots of work to do. Um, I guess I got two floors going on here. And I guess eventually I'll work on the other ones. But I think two floors is going to be sufficient for this farm. Um, yeah. One, two, three. Now there's three blocks. We're good. Um, and like I said, I wanted to put lava here and make sure that uh, no one is spawning in here. This is going to, I think, change. Yeah, because I got that four. So I might change the size of this kill chamber for the small babies unless I leave it too wide to go up to somewhere and they can die and then we'll get that set up for the TU-14 so that way I can just AFK they'll jump into a hopper and the hopper will go into the chest and then I don't have to worry about it because I'll have enough slimes forever alright so first things first where am I? I am here, downstairs, in my mine. Yes, that's right. Uh, so I got... Yeah, because I wouldn't mind it coming down close to around here. That way I have my mining system. So maybe I might be able to make some nice fancy stairs coming down here or something. And Alright, so... We got X254, Y10, and Z204. Now, that's perfect. We'll put that away, and we're going to go upstairs where I want it to go. So now, we're here in this little area. Hmm. 205, 204, see 204 is right here, so that's within the same line, and 187, so I need 254, would be going back that way, mm. which would make sense, alright, so maybe my entrance can't be there, the best maybe if I put my entrance mm, here, that would be like almost center. Yeah, it looks about right. Right in between these two things. Yeah, that looks better. So we'll block these up. And we'll block this back up. And we'll make our entrance here. It said 204. Oh, right on. And then go like this. 
so that's the middle. We'll make this like a three wide type thing. That way I can just come in and then go downstairs. Yeah, that'll work. And then I can do something nice and pretty in here to make it look nice. Oh, okay. That's from where I came inside. Strange, shouldn't I had four more on there? Hmm, anyways. Let's keep her going. So, I'll be back. Alright, so now we're down in the mining area. So this works out really good, actually. Um, I had to go just straight just for a little bit. But other than that, I went on a perfect angle. All the way down, right to here. So I figure I'm going to put a minecart going up and down. That way I don't have to walk it. And I could just, you know, come down here. And then I could walk this little section right here. And it doesn't interfere with any of that here. Uh, I could be able to access my slime farm and my mine. Um, back here, I might move the wall back a little bit, but here is my old ladder, um, which I'll be able to. Actually, no. Oh, that's for my minecart system. Oh yeah, that's not the wrong one. Uh, which one was for? Hmm. Oh, it was over here. It had to be over here. Do do do. Where was it? I know I've seen it around here. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter. I know it exists. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's slime. I'm like, this is like slime central. I'm not gonna have any problem with this slime farm. None whatsoever. Alright, do do do. Anyways, that doesn't matter where the hell it is. Like I said, I might push that wall back and give it a different look. Uh, I'm gonna kind of go with like an abstract kind of roof here to make it look kind of odd and cool. And then I'll make all this nice and neat. And that's that. So, now that we have our new way in, I guess, I can go get rid of this now. That'll be my little project. So I'll get rid of this. And I'll be back. Alrighty, so now we have the minecart system installed. And we have our quick way up and down. And as you see, it's not a long trip, so it does save mine a lot of running and walking and stuff like that. So eh, it's going to suit my purposes just fine. So, now that's done, which I'm happy about. Just the prettying up aspect of it all and all that good stuff. Which I really can't believe I've used four mine carts for this, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I haven't been mining in such a long time. Maybe I screwed something up. Alright. So now I guess I'm going to have to go get some water and stuff. As you see, slimes have no problem spawning in here whatsoever. Yeah, I'll go get some water, some signs, and some half slabs. So I'll be back. See you in a bit. I'll get probably some more materials too, what I'm going to need. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this was also 25 blocks away from the spawner, but I'm going to push it back just a little bit, and that way I'm just a little bit farther back from here, and things should work out just fine. See, look at that. Spawning like crazy. I love it. Come and get some. Could just come down here and fight them. Beat you with meat. Come here. I'm going to beat you with meat. Die, slimes, die. Beat you with meat. That sounds pretty bad, but whatever. It's all good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to push them back. I don't know, maybe to this room right about here. Yeah, that would look 
pretty good. Cut that out a little bit. Then have them come over here. Um, I guess go up some kind of a cheesy ladder system. I'll make it a double ladder. That way they can all go up. And then uh, I'll have to block it off. Probably somewhere around here like this. And leave just a one space gap for them to go under. And we'll call it like that. Alright, so give me a few. I'll be back. Okie dokie. So we're backy. Alright, so I took the liberty of going ahead and doing all of it. Um, just because it would be kind of a long video, kind of for nothing, because we all pretty much will know how to build a, uh, a slime farm. So, without uh, drowning here or anything. So, this is what I did. This is how this is going to work. Now, starting on the opposite side, I have all my water flowing that way and then this way. And just for everybody to know, I will eventually get rid of all these torches and place a nice little pattern of uh, pumpkins and stuff like that on the ground. And that way I don't lose a spawn rate because every torch that's on here takes away your chances of getting slime spawnage and apparently it affects it a lot so yeah there we go um, that's gonna be my next project I'm gonna have to have to get that uh, those little farms that they're working or actually started first of all alright so here we go um, you go in and usually people have kind of a little bit of a hard time when it comes to the corner and right now I'm not touching my remote other than just to kind of look around now you're going to see when we come up to the corner that um, it really really makes you go around the corner and you see I totally avoid that corner I don't even come close to it which is nice and then by the time I get here I get pushed to the wall um, this way your slimes will always make it around the corners and they don't get stuck and that's pretty important for efficiency wise and how I did that was when you finish your last section before always extend it out one block and then do, just do one source block here that way it forces them that way and then you repeat that pattern around find it's a lot better than just going straight out like this. Um, it's good that they go straight out because then they just jump and they go, right? Um, and there's nothing to really slow them down. So uh, underneath here is just the kill chamber. Uh, normal distance in between. It's a little bit bigger this one than what the one most people do. Um, simple reason. Or, well, it's about the same, I guess. Eh? Yeah, it's about the same. Maybe a little bit bigger. And me, yeah, I wanted a three wide. So that way, when they go down, they got a lot of room and they're not jumping into each other and all this kind of stuff. And you get a nice even flow of slimies. And pretty much, well, uh, over here is like your prime spot for slime spawnage. Um, I did. AFK here earlier and I got quite a bit as you can see I got two stacks and I don't think I was here for more than like 10-15 minutes which was pretty good um, it would probably increase a lot better if I had less torches out there and that would be the same for the second row up top as well um, so yeah that's pretty much all that and then all the little bastards will come down here and they'll die yeah Alright, so I'm going to end the video with that note on this big fat bastard going in here. I wonder if I can get him just to show you how this is going to work. Come here. Come here. Probably didn't even have to jump in there. Oh, come on. Get out. Get out. Ah, oh, no. You tricky guy. Ha ha. Let's see if I can get over there. Oh yeah, the robot made it, the robot made it, oh, it just kind of screwed up, look, look at this, I got two eyes, yeah, alright, so anyways, <laughs> there we go, he's gonna die, and then you're gonna get the three other ones, 
I think it varies between two and four of these little guys are jumping around. And then they're going to split up into four guys. And then those wonderful four guys. There we go. Bam. They're all going to follow, find their own little way. Because they're all just going to jump around like idiots until they do. And then they'll come down here. Right now they're just tracking me, so... There we go. Flow, my pretties. Flow. No pushing. No pushing. Don't push. That's not nice. And then they go up. And for the ones that fall back down, in a sense, sometimes they fall on an angle and they just pick up the ladder again. And as you can see, they can jump from ladder to ladder. And the little guys die all the way over here. So, yeah, pretty much all around here is, like, key spawning area. See, another guy just spawned way back there. Isn't that great? And he would eventually make it into my system, and I'd pick him up, and excellent. So, if we get hoppers in the TU-14, I want to put them here. And, yeah, and then I'll go into a nice little collection and thing in my bobber, and we'll be golden. We'll be very good. All right, everybody. That's it. That's all. Take care. Peace out. And next time, we'll get up some farms running. Alright. Take care, everybody.